I had a recent procedure where I was doing an atrial fibrillation ablation on a patient and he was in AFib pretty much virtually 100% of the time. It was going a case that was going to require a more advanced ablation to try to get him back to normal rhythm, not just a simple one wall, the corners, pulmonary vein isolation where those veins insert into the back wall. Now it's going to require more. And as we were setting up for the procedure and got access to the patient, we looked at his heart under ultrasound and we saw a clot flipping around in the left atrium. And it was not coming from the appendage. It was actually attached to the septum and it was long and flipping around. I knew that when I talked to his cardiologist, he's like, it's not the most reliable. I'm not sure he's been taking his blood thinner religiously or appropriately. And so I canceled the procedure because I didn't want to knock the clot loose and have him wake up with a devastating stroke. And I put him back on his blood thinner and I kind of put the fear of God into him a little bit and said, look, you, you really need to be on your blood thinner. We cannot safely do this procedure if you have any clots in there. And he took it religiously for four to five weeks. And then we repeated an ultrasound and the clot was gone. And there was slow flow in that chamber. And I can see how clots form very easily because he's always in AFib, but the clot was dissolved by the blood thinner. 